Hmm. Decided to do something a little different with my channel. Before I get in this video, make sure you hit the notification button so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and reshare all my videos. I would greatly appreciate it. So if I don't get a chance to upload another video before Christmas Day, I just want to say happy holidays to everybody who watches my videos. Happy holidays to, the, to those who don't watch my video. A few of the guys that I, I get along with pretty good on YouTube. We have group chats and we discuss different things, just the struggles of being in the fitness industry and being a, a creator and being just life in general. Like we talk about everything. Like I've never met these three gentlemen, but I think it's funny that we, it seemed like we, we best friends and we known each other forever. So they actually were the ones who gave me the idea to do a sneaker unboxing video. So I had a little chat with Bay. And I said, Bay, I want some new sneakers for Christmas. And Bay said, okay. And Bay got me new pair of Jordans. I mean, it ain't like I need another pair of Jordans. Like, if you, if one thing, one thing you probably don't know about me, if you just watch me and follow me on YouTube, one thing you probably didn't know about me is that I'm kind of what I, I like to call a sneakerhead in, den in denial. I'm a low-key sneakerhead, so I really don't like to admit that I'm a sneakerhead, but I really, I kind of sort of am. You know, they always say if you, <laughs> admitting that you have a problem is the first step to solving it, but um, I'm not ready to solve my sneaker problem yet. I don't even consider it a problem. I mean, people have gambling problems, drug problems, uh, you know. If you like sneakers, if it's something out there that you like and you like to buy, hey, you got the money, do it. And this was a Christmas present anyway, so it doesn't really count. <clears throat> but this pair is one of my very favorite pair of Jordans of all time. And it is the Concord 11s. Yes. <clears throat> Back when I was about 13 years old, these sneakers were promised to me as a Christmas present, and I didn't get them. So I, I'm still feeling a little salty about that to this day, but as always, Bay came to the rescue and got me these. So just a little, I'm sure this, this might bore you a little bit, but a little brief history on these sneakers. I think Michael Jordan actually got fined for wearing these sneakers because they were out of uniform or something during the 1995 playoffs. I'm a big Michael Jordan fan. Like I know a lot about MJ and I think he's the GOAT, so you LeBron fans, stay the hell out of my comments with the, with the foolishness. Don't want to hear it. It's not up for discussion. This is the GOAT. <clears throat> and this is one of the reasons why. Because, like, he just changed the entire culture. But anyway, interesting thing about these sneakers is the patent leather that's going around here. And I think boys, the men, wore these sneakers during a concert or something. Kind of made them even more popular, popular than what they are. This is one of those pairs of sneakers that you can kind of wear with anything. You can wear you can wear them, you dress down. I've seen guys wear them in their weddings, like with tuxedos, suits, everything. So the number 11 Jordans kind of give, kind of give you that, what do you call it? Hell, I don't know what to call it. I'm not even gonna sit here and try to sound like I know everything, but kind of give you that, that flashy look. Kind of, they kind of almost look like dress shoes because they are so shiny. But one interesting thing about these is that the original Concords that came out in like 1995, and then I think they had another release in 2011, is the 45 that's on the back. Now, the original ones came with the 23 on the back of the sneaker. So <clears throat> that was something I found interesting, something that Nike decided they wanted to do. Like, I don't care what number was back there. You could have had zeros back there. Like, I... I wanted these. I, I had to have these. One thing about me and sneakers, like, if you a real sneakerhead, like, you're real funny about, especially, like, a, a classic, iconic pair like these right here, like, you really don't want to wear them too often because you're so afraid you're going to mess them up. But then, 
it's it's like the old saying goes, if you worry so much about something happening, it's gonna end up happening anyway. So I mean sneakers was made to be worn. I'm not one of those sneaker heads that go and buy two and three pairs, the resale one, to kind of just stock one just to have it just sitting. No, like I I would never like if I had the money, I would never buy a Ferrari just to have the shit just sitting in the garage. Like I'm gonna drive it. Like we we gonna ride it. Like let's go. But anyway. I talked about messing up the sneakers, but at some point, like, osmosis is going to kick in and, like, this little icy white sole that you see right here, like, it's going gonna, it's gonna to start to turn yellow after a while. And some people funny about buying sneakers that go through that chemical process of osmosis. Me, I, I really don't care. Like, I'm going to wear these until they can't be worn no more. They, these bad boys, in, in 10 years, if they talking, I'm, I'm probably going to wear them anyway. I don't know, if I'm still 287 pounds, I might not do that. That might not be a bad idea for these big old size 14s. Yes, I wear size 14. It's covering up damn near the whole screen, as you can see. But yeah, I, I really cannot wait to, to break these in and wear them. And then at the same time, I'm kind of like, <sighs> I don't want to wear them because I don't want to mess them up. But like, we can't, we can't worry about little stuff like that. Like you, if you get something you it was a gift or you worked hard for it, I mean where it's boy. And all the woo fumble, all the unboxing videos that I, I see, guys kinda, you know, do a lot of talking about them. But I mean this y'all I want y'all to let me know how I did on my first sneaker unboxing video because I don't normally do these. Like this is pretty much a fitness channel. It's not really a sneaker channel, but I really want to take my channel somewhere else this time i just decided like and the guys helped me decide like just hey like do just do something different and, and see how it goes like just just throw a hail mary up there like if, if if they catch it they catch it if they drop it oh well like you knew it probably may you knew it was a chance that it may or may not work anyway so big deal i just want y'all to leave in the comments let me know how i did i really want to hear from a lot of the sneaker heads in the in the youtube community if this video is able to reach y'all so i would greatly appreciate that so also in the comments let me know if you if you wear jordans or even if, if you wear if you like to collect sneakers let me know what your favorite pair is like what's your favorite brand are you are you in the reeboks and you i know a train one of my youtube buddies i know he he heavy in the adidas like adidas just work for him nothing wrong with that so let me know, like, do you do you like Yeezys? Do you are you a skater? Do you like Vans? Like, do you like Jordans? Do you like phone posits? Whatever, just leave it in the comments. Also, make sure you like, subscribe, reshare all my videos. I would greatly appreciate it. Again, happy holidays.